The Fukushima accident, also called the Fukushima nuclear accident or the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear accident, occurred in 2011 at the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant in northern Japan, the second worst nuclear accident in nuclear power history. The accident site is on the Pacific coast of Japan, in the northeastern part of Fukushima Prefecture, about 100 kilometers 60 miles south of Sendai. The nuclear power plant, operated by the Tokyo Electric Power Company, TEPCO, consisted of six water reactors built between 1971 and 1979. At the time of the accident, only reactors 1 through 3 were operating, while reactor 4 served as a temporary storage facility for spent fuel rods. Ten years ago, in March 2011, the most powerful earthquake ever recorded off the east coast of Japan struck. The magnitude 9.0 earthquake was so powerful that it shifted the earth off its axis. It caused a tsunami that swept across the main island of Honshu, killing more than 18,000 people and wiping out entire cities. At the Fukushima nuclear power plant, a gigantic wave surged over protective structures and flooded reactors, causing a massive disaster. Authorities imposed an exclusion zone that grew larger and larger as radiation leaked from the plant, forcing more than 150,000 people to evacuate the area. A decade later, the zone still exists, and many residents have not returned. Authorities believe it will take up to 40 years to complete the work, which has already cost Japan trillions of yen. On April 12, regulators upgraded the severity level of the nuclear accident from 5 to 7, the highest level on the International Atomic Energy Agency's scale, putting it in the same category as the 1986 Chernobyl accident in the Soviet Union. It was not until mid-December 2011 that Japanese Prime Minister Noda Yoshihiko announced that the situation at the plant had stabilized after the cold shutdown of the reactors was completed. Where is the nuclear power plant located? The Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant is located in Okumur, Fukushima Prefecture. It is located on the east coast of the country, about 220 kilometers, 137 miles, northeast of the capital Tokyo. On March 11, 2011, at 1446 local time, 546 Greenwich Mean Time, the earthquake, known as the Great East Japan Earthquake, or 2011 Tohoku Earthquake, struck just east of Sendai City, 97 kilometers north of the nuclear plant. Residents were warned just 10 minutes before the tsunami hit the coast. In all, nearly half a million people were displaced by the earthquake, tsunami, and nuclear accident. What happened in Fukushima? The systems at the nuclear power plant detected the earthquake and automatically shut down the nuclear reactors. Emergency diesel generators turned on to keep the coolant circulating around the cores, which remain incredibly hot even after the reaction stopped. But soon after, a wave over 14 meters, 46 feet, high hit Fukushima. Water overcame the protective seawall, flooding the plant and disabling the emergency generators. The damage led to a meltdown of the nuclear fuel and several hydrogen explosions. Workers rushed to restore power, but in the days that followed, the nuclear fuel in three reactors overheated and partially melted the core. TEPCO officials said that the tsunami waves from the main shock of the March 11, 2011 earthquake in Japan damaged the backup generators at the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant. Although all three operating reactors were successfully shut down, the loss of power caused the cooling systems in each of them to fail within the first few days after the disaster. The growth of residual heat in the core of each reactor led to overheating and partial melting of the fuel rods in reactors 1, 2, and 3, resulting in a release of radiation. The molten material fell to the bottom of the containment vessels of reactors 1 and 2 and made significant holes in the floor of each vessel, a fact that became known in late May. These holes partially exposed nuclear material in the core. Explosions resulting from a buildup of pressurized hydrogen gas occurred in the outer containment buildings of reactors 1 and 3 on March 12 and March 14, respectively. Workers tried to cool and stabilize the three cores by pumping seawater and boric acid into them. Because of concerns about possible radiation exposure, government officials imposed a 30-kilometer, 18-mile, no-fly zone around the facility and a 20-kilometer, 12.5-mile, radius area around the plant, which covered nearly 600 square kilometers, about 232 square miles, was evacuated. A third explosion occurred on March 15 in the building surrounding Reactor 2. At the time, the explosion was thought to have damaged the containment vessel that held the fuel rods. In fact, 
The explosion punched a second hole in the containment vessel. The first hole was formed by previously molten nuclear material that had passed through the bottom of the vessel. In response, government officials established an extended 30-kilometer radius zone around the nuclear power plant, within which residents were asked not to leave their homes. The explosion, as well as a fire caused by the increased temperature of spent fuel rods stored in the fourth reactor, led to the release of elevated levels of radiation from the plant. The plant also experienced a series of chemical explosions that severely damaged buildings. Radioactive materials began leaking into the atmosphere and the Pacific Ocean, leading to evacuations and the creation of an increasingly wide exclusion zone. How many people were affected? There were no fatalities during the nuclear disaster. At least 16 workers were injured in the explosions, and dozens more were exposed to radiation while working to cool the reactors and stabilize the plant. Three people were reportedly taken to the hospital after being exposed to high levels of radiation. The long-term effects of radiation are a matter of debate. In 2013, the World Health Organization, WHO, published a report stating that the disaster would not lead to a noticeable increase in cancer rates in the region. Scientists both inside and outside Japan believe that, with the exception of the region immediately surrounding the nuclear power plant, the risk of radiation remains relatively low. On March 9, 2021, on the eve of the 10-year anniversary, a UN report said that there were no adverse health effects directly related to radiation from the disaster among Fukushima residents. Any future health effects of radiation are unlikely to be noticeable, the report said. Fukushima's long road to recovery. Many believe the dangers are much higher, and residents remain wary. Although officials have lifted restrictions in many areas, most people have not returned to their homes. In 2018, the Japanese government announced that one worker had died after radiation exposure and decided that his family should be compensated. However, it is confirmed that several people died during the evacuation, including dozens of hospital patients who had to be moved because of radiation fears. The Fukushima disaster is classified by the International Atomic Energy Agency as a level 7 event, the highest among similar events and only the second disaster to meet this classification after Chernobyl. Who is to blame? Critics blamed the accident on a lack of preparedness as well as the lax response by both the plant operator Tokyo Electric Power, TEPCO, and the government. An independent investigation by Japan's parliament concluded that Fukushima was a profoundly man-made disaster, accusing the power company of failing to meet safety requirements and failing to plan for such an event. In 2019, however, a Japanese court acquitted three former TEPCO executives of negligence, the only criminal case brought over the disaster. In 2012, then-Japanese Prime Minister Yoshihiko Noda stated that the government shared the blame for the disaster. In 2017, a court ruled that the government was partially responsible and must compensate the evacuees. Ten years later, several towns in northeastern Japan remain off-limits. Authorities are working to clear the area so residents can return. Serious problems remain. Over the next 30 to 40 years, it will take tens of thousands of workers to safely remove the nuclear waste, fuel rods, and more than a million tons of radioactive water still stored at the site. But some residents have chosen never to return because they fear radiation, are building new lives elsewhere, or don't want to go back to where the disaster occurred. Media reports in 2020 said the government might start releasing water filtered to reduce radioactivity into the Pacific Ocean as early as next year. Some scientists believe that the vast ocean will dilute the water and it will pose a low risk to human and animal health. However, the environmental group Greenpeace said the water contains materials that could potentially damage human DNA. Officials said a final decision on what to do with the liquid has not yet been made. Subscribe to the channel and share this video with your friends. Give it a thumbs up. Tell us interesting facts you know about the topic of this video. See you in new videos.